Warriors tonight got an awesome bounce back victory against the Chicago Bulls by a final score of 138 to 96, a total blowout, 42 point win for the Warriors. And I mean, we're playing a pretty decent team, a team that's best in the East, the Chicago Bulls. And we only have to play them twice this year. And this was the second matchup. We destroyed them in both games. And, you know, it, it's really surprising because the Warriors in this game were very shorthanded. They didn't have Gary Payton the second. He had back issues. Um, obviously, still no Draymond Green. And uh, Clay Thompson, he got a rest day. So, you know, the Warriors needed to, you know, face a team that was good. And, you know, they didn't have some of their key players, such as Thompson, Draymond, and GP2. Um, but for the Warriors, they had an awesome game from Jonathan Kaminga off the bench. And he had 25 points in 26 minutes, which was great. And it was good because the Warriors were leading by so much. They had opportunity to give guys like Kaminga, you know, some time to play. Uh, the Warriors had, you know, 78 points at halftime. And, you know, to put that in perspective, in their last couple of games, they barely been breaking 100. So to score 70 in the first half is amazing. They kept the Bulls down. They played great defense. Curry in this game, um, he, you know, he didn't have an amazing game, but he had 19 points. He also kind of hurt his wrist a little bit. So we uh, luckily, you know, he came back in the game, which kind of made me happy. I was a little worried at first. Uh, Zach Levine left the game for the Bulls. So they kind of have to be concerned about that. He only played four minutes. Um, for the Bulls, though, their leading scorer was Kobe White with 20 points. He's a pretty good player, followed by Nikola Vucevic with 19 and 17 from DeMar DeRozan. Bulls, though, have been kind of struggling lately. We have two, but to beat the Bulls, you know, after losing badly to the Bucks is something that kind of makes me a little bit more enthusiastic because, you know, obviously the Bulls and the Bucks are very good teams coming out of the East, and, you know, the Warriors don't play the East very often um, as much as they do the West, so it's, t it's good to win this. Um, Kamingo was dominant tonight. He can really do it all. He can shoot. He can, you know, drive to the basket, dunk, and that was great. The Warriors had a 41-point second quarter. I mean, that really just pushed them over the top. That's kind of when we all realized they were, you know, going to win. Poole had 22 points and Wiggins had 21. Um, and, you know, I think, you know, when we get Draymond back, I just expect the Warriors to be overall dominant. The issue is with the Warriors is they don't get all their stars on the floor at the same time. You know, the moment Clay Thompson comes back, Draymond is absent, right? And the whole time Draymond is present, Clay is absent. So, like, we can never w really win in that sense. Um, but, yeah, tonight was great. I mean, one by 42. The Warriors just had control of this game. And they, like I said, they got to use their bench players. Curry didn't really even play in the fourth quarter, I don't think at all. Um, they, they gave him some rest, which I think is very well deserved. They're going to play the Timberwolves next, you know, a team that's not very good. So hopefully we win that. Our schedule actually is a little bit lighter coming up. we got the T-Wolves, Pistons, and Pacers, and then Rockets. And four of those teams, uh, all four of those teams are not very good in my eyes. Um, so hopefully the Warriors can regroup themselves, go through these four, and win them all. Um, tonight was awesome, though. And, you know, I didn't expect the Warriors to win by this much. And dare I say it, I didn't really expect the Warriors to win at all. I expected another loss because... You know, I, we, I knew we didn't have Clay. I heard about it, you know, a little bit prior to the game. Um, we didn't have GP2, Gary Payton, who's been great. Obviously, no Draymond. When you're when you're shorthanded like that and you're playing a team that's best in the East, you know, you, you, you have some concern, right? So I was concerned about it. And like, yeah, I'll be honest. I thought we might lose. I thought, you know, we lost four of our last five coming into this. And it's like we just lost to the Bucks as well. So, yeah, it was, you know, overall great. We're still second place because the Suns won today. Um, but yeah, Warriors moved to 31 and 11 through 42 games. We just passed the halfway point of the season and, um, the Bulls moved to 27 and 13, not as good as us, but still a pretty good record coming out of the East for them. Um, so yeah, anyways, guys, the Warriors win by 42 points, 138 to 96. Great win for them. And shout out to Kaminga. This guy has so much potential. I think he's very underrated as a rookie this year. And, you know, he's only 19 years old and he's doing great things, scoring 25 points tonight, shooting threes, getting to the rack, getting dunks. That's something that he's very, very talented at, just being very physical, being aggressive. And, um, yeah, so anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts. I'll see you guys later. And, uh, yeah, peace out. Thanks. Go Warriors.